Hi everybody! Happy World Goth Day! Yay! So in honour of World Goth Day, I am clearly filming out in the sun in my mum's garden. The last time I saw you guys was when I was telling you about the multiple sclerosis thing and yesterday I actually saw a neurologist for the first time and they have 100% confirmed that yes, I have relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis so... Oh. But anyway, in honour of World Goth Day I thought it would be fun to do my un-goth confessions. <laughs> So because the battery on my camera is scarily low, I'm going to have to kind of rip through this and do it really quickly. So yeah, here we go. Number one, I have never read Dracula. I have no desire to read Dracula. I have never wanted to read Dracula. And in fact, I've never really read an awful lot of the traditional gothic literature because it just kind of isn't really my thing. Number two, I like reggae music, specifically dancehall reggae. Why do I like reggae? Because it's nice and chilled. Number three, when it comes to interior design and how my house looks, I prefer everything to be white. That's walls and furniture and bedding, because it makes your rooms look bigger and brighter. The worst idea for me is living in a little black box where everything is black and it's like living in a cave with no light and no life. Oh yeah, everything in my house is white, apart from a couple of grey carpets. I have an extremely colourful novelty sock collection. I buy socks because they are cute and colourful and no one sees them anyway because I usually wear Doc Martens. Big confession, I know a lot of people aren't going to like this one, but I hate Joy Division. I hate them. I can kind of bar one song, Transmission, which is the only one that I kind of like a little bit. Other than that, I hate Joy Division. And to be fair, they're not even really a goth band, but that's the subject for another video. The very first concert I ever went to was All Saints when I was about 11. And do you know what? It was really good. I really enjoyed myself. My second one after that was Steps. And again, I really enjoyed myself. I was a kid, I had fun dancing on space about this wide in the MEN right the way at the top. Big arena. And I thought it was great because I was like 12. And in terms of other music that I really like that definitely isn't goth, I love new retro wave. It's great fun. It's 80s, it's cheesy, it's fantastic. A couple of years ago, when I was probably around about 18-ish, it's more than a couple of years really, isn't it? I went through this really weird phase where everything was bright and neon and just in your face. Like my hair was bright neon multicoloured dreadlocks, I wore this bright pink dog collar with spikes and shit on it. Kind of like a little bit neon ravish, but kind of also a little bit tank girl inspired, but bright. And I thought I looked at the business, to be fair. One goth confession number nine, right here. And my biggest ungoth confession is the fact that I mostly shop for clothing on the high street. It's cheaper and you can find a lot of really nice stuff. Bar my leggings and my shoes, everything I'm wearing right now came from the high street. Apart from this, obviously, this is this is from Killstar. <laughs> I shop on the high street because it means I have things that not every other goth in the world has. You can find really cute stuff on the high street and just kind of make it your own. Really cute velvet dress? New look sale, £8. Long line the cardigan? H&M sale. And made leggings are from poison industries, but you can't see those, so they don't count. Now, well, yeah, I guess the long and short of it is that even though I present this way, I listen to gothic rock and post-punk music, that is my kind of music of choice most of the time, a lot of things I like actually aren't really what you would consider traditionally goth, as it were. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Ultimately, being goth is all about what you listen to music-wise, and then the fashion kind of follows on from that as well. But yeah, because I like to have novelty bunny socks and things. It doesn't really matter all that much. Not everything in your life needs to be black and covered in skulls and bats. So yeah, it was super quick because my back feet was going to die. But again, happy World Goth Day to everybody. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.